Alright, so I'm going to probably end up doing this playthrough in four parts. Just to keep the file size down. I gotta hear you what piece of tissue paper. Come on. Yeah, I, I know. I know. You're a bitch. And I don't like you. Alright, so... Really don't have a whole lot to worry about up until... About... Floor 60. Because that's when we meet to goop. Before that, we can get hit by the uh, jump scare cardboard, and starting floor 50, one, we can get hit by the taker's room, but other than that, the most we're going to have to deal with is a puzzle room or a jump scare room. I'm going to set a timer for like half an hour. Sorry, I forgot to do that. I'm a I'm a professional. Not a whole lot of commentary to give on the first 50 floors. I'll be honest, that one did get me. It doesn't matter what content they are, it can be a cartoon pumpkin or it can be a corpse, it, it, it just has a chance to get you, no matter how many times you've played this game, because there's no way to see them coming. I should probably look around for notes in rooms like this because I did say that this would be a lore street lore video as well. So there are a lot of room types. Of course, some do. That's a, that's a nice. That's a, a yeah. We we don't need to talk about that. There's a lot of room types, some of them obviously loop because, yeah, I mean they're not going to make a unique room for each of the 1,000 rooms, I'm not even sure what that is. But I, one thing I've never understood is why there's so many bedrooms. Nobody lives here, everybody is dead or dying. And that, if you can see that in the darkness, looks like a certain artist's rendition of SCP-173. I'm not sure if that's like a red colored cave around it or whatever. I'll do my best to give commentary on the paintings, but a lot of these are just weird.
We'll do my best to leave most of this uncut just because I feel like you'd probably want that. It is weird to recording for one single person. And first save room. Cute cat picture. That one's guaranteed to be in the first one. And starting from here is where we can start finding the taker, and then ten floors up is goop. Guaranteed. If the death if I start getting chased early after a checkpoint, I'll probably purposely die to the monster just so you can see their death scene. Because there is quite a bit to go over with that too. But if I'm like 10 floors away from a checkpoint, I'm not going to do that. Believe it or not, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion is the game that has given me a fear of long, dark hallways in games. Or just long hallways in general. If you listen to the audio closely in these rooms, you can actually hear footsteps behind you. Okay, this is... a taker room. You got this room over here, you got that way, which is the way you're supposed to go. I'm gonna go down the hallway. because we're pretty close to the checkpoint and I won't lose much progress. So yeah, this hallway is pretty endless and as you go down it you start to notice wait, are those walls getting closer? Because they're covering more of the tiles. But it looks like you're so close to the end of it. So you just keep going, and keep going, and the walls keep closing in on you. At this point, you, you could go back, but just like, at this point, you're, you're, it you looks like you're so close, why would you? At this point in the hallway, you can hear breathing in the ambience. And you're stuck. You can't go any further. And then he spams Discord like a motherfucker. Take to the dead, take to the dead, to take the dead, to take the dead, to take the dead. <laughs> I I don't think that's the Papa John slogan. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it is. But yeah, no, that makes the Taker the first encounterable monster that can kill you in the game. Because Goop is guaranteed at floor 60, and the Taker, as we saw, can appear floor 51 and up. Another interesting thing about the Taker, if you stand completely still in a room for two minutes, he just shows up, 
and kills you. But the thing is, like, you can go through the whole game and never see him. I've seen people go throughout this game and never get his room. You can show up to his final boss and never have seen him once. Beforehand. Here we go. Oh man, it looks like somebody spilled a bunch of Kool-Aid on the ground. Spouting, splashing, soaking, innards ingest, invoking, nailing, never stops the choking. Well, that just kind of killed my vibe. Hey, buddy. No, he, that's not my wallet. God fucking damn it, that one got me. Alright, so main thing about this, it's it, it's really just a straightforward chase. The, the, the only obstacles are the puddles of Kool-Aid Ecto-Cooler on the ground. <sighs> also, he can fly over gaps. So, like... Yeah. He's, he's not... He's not fast, he's not imposing, he's not threatening, he's just... He's just... He's just a green Jolly Rancher. So the actual reference for him are the monsters, the Lub Globes from Adventure Time. Which aren't actually that well known, I've found, but if you do know them, they are pretty creepy. Alright, his... He usually chases for longer than that, but no, his team's gone already. But now, if you listen close to the ambience, you can sometimes hear his choking in the background. So this is a Five Nights at Freddy's reference. Hello? Lady Calls pretty much just says hello, hello a bunch. Hello? Yes. Hello, hello. And then... Okay, whatever. Uh, fucking. Sometimes, if you stare into the fan long enough, she will tell you, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to stare directly into the fan. Those puzzle rooms make me unreasonably angry. Alright, so... Next up, after Goop, we have... Subject 3, which is also Specimen 4, because that's not confusing at all. And we're, of course, going for the bad ending, so once we get to about 500, we'll get the axe, and we'll be able to hit all the monsters and kill a bunch of deer. But that's... that's later. I apologize in advance if a few of my jokes get recycled. Um... 
Right. So, first off, there's a few survivors in here with you. Well, there were. And the first one you can find is the guy I call the romantic guy. Because he just goes through this place trying to find something romantic. And it's he's bad at it. He, he's forever alone. We'll find notes from him throughout the first couple hundred floors. I think about floor 150 is when he sends his last note. Nah, maybe a bit more. I apologize if I'm not as funny as I was on the call. I do better if I have a live audience. Oh man, there's some more high ecto cooler on the ground. As I said, recycled tricks. So this actually would have been a group chase if I wasn't so close to the checkpoint because they can't actually chase you in the last five floors of a checkpoint. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this means, honestly. And then there's this... Yeah. Alright, so if we get to the goop chase right by the entrance to this place, I'll let him kill me so you can see the end. I'm not exactly going for a deathless run here because again, I do want to just show you a bunch of the things and talk about the lore behind them. So, well, we have some downtime, let's talk about Goop. So. His existence honestly seems kind of painful. It, the note seemed to have been written by him, and based on the sounds he's making, it seems like he's constantly choking. Sorry, I paused there. Uh, my dog made a noise and scared the crap out of me. Surprise noises are scarier than anything this game has to offer. Okay, just three straight then. Oh, there he is. I guess he... I guess he was chasing me, I just didn't hear his theme. Hey, bud. I know what you've done and what you've yet to do, but it's alright because I'm inside you now. We are one, but I am many. So yeah, he basically, um... He goes inside you and uses you as a flesh puppet, pretty much. That's fun. So yeah, I guess that explains the Kool-Aid on the ground. But like, usually you hear the chase theme as an advance warning sign. Alright, so this is a cat doll's room. What we can do here is you can access the specimen database and read about them. Specimen 1, it's a fatal, it's pr 
proved it not very healthy against effective against healthy subjects. It's literally just cardboard cutout. It can't do a whole lot. It's killed four people based on heart attack. Two is the green Jolly Rancher. He has killed people via physical tearing. And he's a ghost that is mostly semi-solid and changes matter states. Proves effective against weaker and slower subjects. We'll get back to those guys. We'll, you'll, you'll see with them. And then the modify house layout, you, you, you can't do that until endless mode. Hey bud, where's your fucking chase theme? I went through like five floors last time uh, not knowing I was being chased by him because I couldn't hear his chase theme. That's like how you know something's chasing you is so you know that you gotta run right now. But no. Guess he was actually probably chasing me during those last five floors too. And I was just completely incorrect. Okay, I'm not seeing any more Kool-Aid on the ground, so it looks like he's stopped. Fuck, that one got me. Alright, so now he talks about how he's being chased by something, and he's getting really thirsty. Got a goop room. Not to be confused with Goop himself. Here we go. Here's the lab. The generic lab. That's what it's called. It's called Generic Labs Labs. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but she just laughed and flew into the ceiling. Without more chemicals to keep the things oxal, I'm not sure how long we can keep them here safely. Joke's on you, generic lab assistant. You weren't supposed to. She wanted you to die. Oh man, this one's broken. That's not good. Oh man, looks like someone took a shit in this one. You can actually see him up there if you look close. There's an eye up there. Yeah. Now, I know you don't like bugs too much, so I'll try to not look at it a whole lot, even though I absolutely adore this thing. I actually was going to just give it the death scene, but uh, we're far enough in now that I probably just won't. Alright, so its main thing, other than being pretty fast, is it can come out of these holes in the ceiling. Now, as much as I love this creature, which is a lot, it's got the weakest chase theme in the game, honestly. Unless we go to endless mode where some don't even have chase themes. Or you have Otter the fucking Otter eats the pizza.
This game is a lot creepier when you're completely alone. I'm gonna grab Jasmine for my next recording. Oh, Goop's back. Hey buddy, how you doing? See, well, Goop works for what he is, he's just, I, he's not a very strong contender for a good specimen. He works as a first enemy, and that's what counts. Like, he's perfect as the first enemy. He shows you, oh, this is what you're going to be doing through most of the rest of the game. But that's about it. And he's gone already. The chases get more and more frequent the more specimens you meet. So, GL Labs stands for Generic Lab Labs. They're trying to be self aware, there's truth in jest. Starting off awful with a puzzle room. Yeah, and then the romantic guy tries to drink his ink because he's thirsty. And he's he he's just continues to be an idiot. That pull wasn't there. Again, there is a lot of downtime in this game, and it is... Oh yes, so now we're here with Ringu, and my first reaction upon entering this place was, Excuse me, did I step into a completely different fucking game? So, two things with the flashlight. One is... Goodbye peripheral vision. Also, this is a Japanese school, by the way, that we are in, and it, it's it got that vibe of, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, and you notice some things, like these shadow students, and also a Madoka Magica reference! Oh yeah, the other thing with the flashlight, I can't read the fucking notes. So, um... Ringu's original name was Mitsuri, and as I've talked about, she got lost and just, like, starved to death.
Gonna be encountering her in a sec here. Yep. Being completely honest, Ringu, in my first few playthroughs, fucking terrified me. She is one of the legitimately creepy specimens. I love the chase theme, though. I love it so much. I have said that. Also, I also... Just the character design of her opening her mouth the closer she gets to you is great. Even if her method of killing you isn't so much... Because it, it's... You got Goop who goes inside you and puppets you. You got Ben who turns you into a puppet, and then she she just she just vores you. She vores you. She's done this to a lot of people as well. You can tell by the blood on her fingers and her file in the cat DOS rooms. God fucking damn it, that one got me. And I'm going to leave this recording here.